So when you receive your slide hand boards, you're gonna have boxes just like these. They're well packaged to make sure that nothing happens to the board while it's in the shipping route. When you open up, got some covering paper, and then you're gonna find your slide hand board. So you get two things inside. One is basically just a thank you card from Slide Handboards, welcoming you to the family and shows you how you can go check out YouTube videos like this, their Instagram page, and all that other cool stuff. You also have a business card for Angela, so if you ever have any trouble, she's gonna help you out, give her a shout. So the first board we're gonna be unboxing is the Bula design by Slide Handboards. This is a new design and vastly different from the wedge, which we'll jump into. And basically, you're gonna see a huge difference in the size, but there's also a nice concave on the bottom that allows you to drive on the face of the wave. Uh, to make it short and sweet, this is a really good board for big beach breaks and just, you know, thick, steep barrels. What we're gonna do is just open up the top. So here we have the Bula design. I'm gonna show you right there that curvature that we were talking about. That is going to be game changing when it comes to big barrels. So to get started, let's talk about what hand are we putting it on. I am right handed, but I put it on my left hand. And the reason for that is I feel more comfortable paddling with my right hand. That's my strong arm. It allows me to catch the wave better. But I honestly switch it back and forth sometimes. If I'm going on a bunch of rights, sometimes it's more natural to have your right hand while you're going right and then your left hand while you're going left. So there's no real proper way. And again, you do not need to get yourself one slide hand board test your different hands and see what feels better and you're good to go. Next we're going to talk about the hand strap. It's really important that you don't over tighten and it's important that you don't under tighten as well. We got two straps. We're going to pull the first back, pull the second back and that's just going to give us, you know, free movement. Drop your hand in there and take the first one and get it pretty snug. Like, you know, you want it to stay in there but you don't want to cut your circulation off. Come with the second one and that's just going to be your secure strap to make sure nothing moves and you're good to go. So a couple other things you're going to notice on the board is a mount on the nose and a mount on the tail. So the top mount is going to be to put a GoPro on your board. The bottom mount is to put a leash on your board. The only other thing you're going to need is a pair of fins. If you visit the Slide Handboard's website, you'll see that they have some fins on there that they carry. To mount your GoPro on the board, you only really have one option for the Bula because it has that curvature. There's adhesive mounts, but they don't work on this board. So what you need to do is go get yourself the surfboard mount kit by GoPro. So when you open this up, you're gonna have a bunch of different mounts and I'm gonna show you what is what. The first one is your standard surfboard mount. And again, we can use this, but we can only use it on the wedge because the Bula has that curve. So we'll put that to the side. So both of these are leash anchors and you tie a string to this so if it does break off for whatever reason on here, you've got a backup. Next, we've got the leashes. These are gonna be what connects your GoPro to the anchor. This is the magical piece that you need. This is a GoPro FCS fin plug mount. So on the nose of the board, this is where we were talking about mounting the GoPro. You're gonna see a small screw in here you're gonna need a FCS fin key or an Allen key. I don't have a fin key today, so I'm gonna get my Allen key, unscrew this a little bit, and you just wanna watch down in here until you get some clearing. So once your screw is out enough to where it's still in, but it's clear of the opening, we're gonna take our FCS fin plug mount. I prefer to put the bolt on the left side so I can put the screw in from the right side. We're gonna take it, drop it down in there, so these things are a bit snug, but you need to make sure that it's all the way down and flush on all sides. This is gonna make sure that it's not going anywhere. So now that it's flush, we're gonna take the Allen key and crank this thing all the way down, basically until it stops spinning. So now that we've got it all the way in there, this thing is iron, it's not going anywhere. So now that we've got the mount and the board, we need to get the GoPro on the mount. And basically, we're gonna take our GoPro slide it down in there, get our screw, come from the right side, and I've got these high torque screws that have a you know, little lever on it almost, and it allows you to really get in there and crank it down. So now that we've got it on there, tilt it back a little bit, and that's gonna give you a killer shot looking back at you as the barrel's going over your head. It's gonna get everything. What you can also do is take this out and turn it around and get shots looking out of the barrel, which are really cool as well. So that's basically all there is for the Bula, so let's go ahead and jump into the wedge now. 